welcome to Reflective Fashion Production. It's Fantastic Friday. It's important for you to have a daily positive affirmation, and this is my weekly with you. If you're just scrolling through, hey, my name is Monica. If you're back from our last chat, I hope you are doing fantastic, being fabulous, and staying focused. So today, I was actually thinking like, you know what, I need to start pre-recording Fantastic Fridays because on Friday morning, I have a lot going on. In fact, for me, Friday is the beginning of my week. Not Monday, Friday. Friday is actually the day where I actually get to sleep in a little bit later and I have to, you know, get things done for Saturday and Sunday because sometimes I do find myself in, in the studio braiding hair maybe even doing videos that I don't post but I'm gonna start doing it I'm gonna start posting content not, any, not only that but I do want to have subject matters in my videos so today I thought it would be a great idea to talk about my favorite drink which is tea so I found a few things about tea oh my gosh the dog is barking okay so I found a few things about tea that I thought were very interesting and I wanted to share them with you. In fact, it actually is a great health benefit to have. I, this dog got up on the steps and now he barking at me. Okay. <laughs> he went inside. He... <laughs> my god anyway so uh, I, I found some really great things out about tea and I was just like oh my god I have to share this and this would be great for fantastic Friday because this is something that you can take and you know start your little journey on being healthy and I think that tea is a great 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 substitute than coffee so at first I used to drink a lot of coffee and then I slowly started to get in back into tea because I used to drink tea when Malia was younger and then I stopped. I don't know why, but I stopped. And now um, the difference in me drinking tea when Malia was younger to now is more like I drink herbal tea. I don't really drink caffeinated tea anymore. And I found out that black tea is like the strongest tea that they have. And when I actually drink that, I kind of get like, jittery you know if you drink if you have too much caffeine caffeine you should start to shake yeah that's that's how i get it. i don't like that and plus i stop my stomach starts to hurt because i don't have a gallbladder and i don't know if you know you all have one or not but i don't have one and there are certain things that i just cannot eat because it doesn't help me feel good at all but um so as i was doing my journey with starting to change like my drinking habits and the things that I do I found out that tea helps you become hydrated and I'm I've been struggling lately in drinking water I've been having a hard time with drinking water I've been trying to do at least 60 ounces of water a day and I can get through 30 and I used to drink loads of water now I don't drink that much water in fact I found myself retaining fluids and I used to take water pills but in the last couple of months I've been doing different vitamins and um, trying to supplement the vitamins and taking vitamin B and um, doing little supplements so that I can see what goes on as far as me retaining the fluid that's on my feet like my feet my like my arms like you can tell like with my arm can you tell that's all water I'm trying to get rid of it but um anyway so i've been drinking tea in fact this concoction that i have here is actually herbal tea it's lemon and ginger and then i decided to put apple cider vinegar and honey but i put honey in my tea anyway but i added apple cider vinegar and i actually do ginger and lemon and apple cider vinegar herbal tea like throughout the day i actually did that all last week and when i tell you that I was feeling good I was actually feeling really good and I was kind of nervous on drinking apple cider vinegar because I read before if you don't have a gallbladder you shouldn't you shouldn't drink that you shouldn't put that in your body but then I learned that it actually um, it would do it would do you good if you did that so 
what I wanted to just share was um, actually herbal tea is not actually a tea it's just infused herbs that you put in water and I just thought that was kind of cool but then at the same time I'm a herbal tea girl I love herbal tea green tea is actually a healthy tea and black tea is the strongest tea and they have different flavors and different varieties they have more they over have they have like over 3,000 varieties of tea and I'm just like what now I've heard of almost all the teas I was just like wow this is kind of cool but I just wanted to share that with you and I just wanted to just um, put out put that out there like substitute black tea for your coffee and see how that works for you or just you know if you can't drink caffeine and you really would like to try tea herbal tea is really good it does it's not caffeinated at all I'm telling you it's really good it definitely does make a difference and um, and I have to say that apple cider vinegar and honey is actually a concoction with it within itself but I put it in my tea and I actually I actually like it it, I don't smell the apple cider vinegar because I did the little concoction of the apple cider vinegar and honey. Oh, it stinks. But this, you can't even smell it. It smells delicious. And I'm going to finish drinking my tea. But I just wanted to share that with you before more dogs come out and bark at me. I think today, this week is my week to get barked and, and have rocks thrown at me. But that's beside the point. So I hope you guys have a fabulous and fantastic Friday. I am going to finish my tea and I will see you guys soon.